have a seven? Go fish. Understand the impact of financial ecosystems is to understand the financial powers that shape our world today. Oh, did I say ecosystems? I meant financial geekosystems. <laughs> <laughs> Toby, that is so Miss McGuck. You laugh, but we still have to turn in this group project if we want to pass the class. <sighs> it could be worse. Are you kidding? This is McGuck. Our project will have to be a total snooze fest for her to even consider a passing grade. Okay, you're right, but they're still due tomorrow. Unless fate steps in with a miracle. Come on, fate. Hello? Anyone? Fate. Oh. Awesome! Ah, oh, I didn't save the work! It's gone! Finish! Kaput! Dad's probably <gasps> changing a light bulb. It's not Dad. The power's out everywhere. A major grid must have shut down. Yes! What do you mean, yes? This is a no, Toby! A super banana panic no! Oh, it's a no, all right. As in, no power means no school. The school has a backup generator specifically for just such an emergency. You're not getting out of this so easily. You mean I might actually have to work on this thing? Not one section of our assignment is finished, and the whole project is due tomorrow. We're what? chunked. Not necessarily. I was on my way over to the computer lab at the school. I reserved time just in case. Saved! Saved. Doomed. Speaking of which... <laughs> Razzle! Hey, who wants to do homework when you could be saving the world, huh? Aurora has conjured some secret weapon. It's rumored to be the most powerful and terrible weapon in Gorm. What kind of a weapon? I don't know, but it's up to you guys to find out and disable it before Aurora gets a chance to use it on anyone. Elementals! Air! Water! Forest! Earth! Reveal to us the Keeper and give to them your chair! And the keeper is... Forrest! That's you, Lucas. Get it? Sit? <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna sit this one out. That's your worst joke yet. And if anyone knows a bad joke, it's you, Toby. That is weird. Uh, let me see if I can find something about them. Hmm? I wonder what this thing does. Toby, no! <laughs> oh. Hey, I wouldn't touch anything if I were you. It says here that Aurora is a collector of deadly devices, traps, and other nefarious contraptions. Thanks for the advice. Hmm? I hear something. Come on. Behold the magic crystals of my energy cannon as they oh. gather energy from the very air around us and project them as destructive bolts of power! <laughs> Lucky he wasn't pointing that thing at us! We're not the only ones hiding behind stalagmites. Look! What is that thing? <laughs> Who let that mongrel in here? What kind of evil force would I be if I let every stray just wander into my lair, disrupting me and my evil demonstrations? Simply unacceptable! I shall have to teach the mud a lesson! Maybe you should pick huh? on somebody your own sex! More strays? This is exactly the kind of distraction I was talking about! Intruders! Wayfarers! 
transients come to spoil my demonstration. You are an affront to my evilness. Prepare to feel the wrath of my energy cannon. Ah! <laughs> Let's get you to full power. You're good to glow. Elemental powers flow. Gormini, lords of nature, go! Powers of the sea! Strength of the stone! Dominion of the winds! Lords of nature! You think your transformation intimidates me? You have yet to see me throw the full wrath of my evil upon you! Yep, just another typical villain talking about himself again. It's no wonder you guys never get any dates. <laughs> but it's never too late to learn a... a lesson. What's happening to me? <laughs> Cannon, feeling ain't. Thanks for the energy, losers. First you fall to the ground, then you fall into my grip. Uh, Jessica. <laughs> the energy has grounded me. Can't move. Hang on, bro. I'll save you. I'm stuck. Guys, I'm trying to channel auxiliary power here, but I'm tapped. Guys? <laughs> With this weapon, nothing will stand in my way. Aurora will be ruler of the Lava Nation, ruler of all of Gorm! Thing zapped the life out of me. Come on, we have to get Jessica. Uh, what happened? Don't just stand there. Get the crystal pieces and fix the weapon. <laughs> Not like that. Stuck the crystals. No, that way! Point it over there! No, not over there! There! No. Look like this! This way! <sighs> that was a close one. Especially for this little guy. Good boy. Be careful, Toby. You don't know where he's been. You sound like our mother. I'm just saying. Roll over. Roll over. <laughs> I think I'll call him Copper. He can be our team mascot. What? What, what about me? <laughs> Don't worry, Razzle. We still love you. Hey, wait. Where are you going? He's not the only one who needs to get somewhere. Your orbs are looking pretty empty. I wonder if we're going to see him again. By the orbs of Gorm! Come on, we've got to get to the school. We still have time left for the computer lab. Aww. Aurora thinks he's evil? That's because he's never met Miss McGuck. Watch where you're going. Oh, who goes there? Dad, it's just us. We live here, remember? In times of crisis, one must be extra cautious. Where have you been? Jessica's. Lucas's. We, uh, we get around. Uh, well, uh, you missed a call. Someone from the school, uh, Miss McGurk? <laughs> you're kidding. What did she want? She wants her students to know that power or no, projects are still due tomorrow. She's a tenacious bit of evil, isn't she? Is dinner ready? On its way, dear. Voila! Um, that's <gasps> a can of corn, Mr. Tripp. 
Of course it is! It's not easy being a culinary master without power. You work with what you have. It's part of our creative genius. Uh, none for us, thanks. We ate at, uh, their places. Come on, Toby. I booked an hour. We still have some time left. Wow, great. Can't wait. Hey, what's with the lineup? Computer lab? It's about a 10 hour wait from this point. I figure my group will finish our project just in time for breakfast tomorrow. What? Ah! Is everybody's project due tomorrow? It's Miss McGuck, man. Miss McGuck! Everyone's triple spell checking. We're doomed, doomed. <sighs> what are we gonna do? Let me handle this. Excuse me, but I believe I had a reservation. Ah, yes, that's me, Jessica. Are you four? You're late. We gave it to someone else. Go to the back of the line. But, but... No buts. Back of the line. Yes! There you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Uh, what are you doing? This! I made it myself! It's a generator! Hmm... Well, sort of. I'm missing the most crucial part. So that means it's not working, right? Whew! I mean... We gotta get going. Orb should be full, and we've got some unfinished business with Aurora. Right around those stalagmites. Be careful. Where is everybody? I was so hoping you ah! would. Ah! Ah! You need to stop doing that. Doing what? Razzle, we need to know what happened to Aurora. Well, maybe if you stop startling me like that, I could tell you. <clears throat> Aurora and his minions have taken the weapon to the Earth Nation capital. He's launching an assault right now. <gasps> we gotta stop that guy. You'll get there much faster in Super Gormini form. Lucas is right. I charge the orbs, you use the power. Elemental powers flow! Gormini, Lords of Nature, go! <laughs> Watch, we've got to do something. Lucas, have you found anything to help us out? Still looking. Copper, you came back. Looks like you brought a friend, Ruscallion. Ruscallion, one of the most powerful ancient guardians of Gorn. Duck! Someone must have summoned him. It wasn't us. You think he knows Copper? From what I'm seeing here, that's a good guess. Lucas, is Ruscallion powerful enough to defeat Aurori's weapon? I can't say for certain. It's too close. Well, let's see if we can tip those odds in our favor, shall we? Huh? Ruscallion, turn! Turn quickly! Come on! Have you never turned before? Turn already! You push and you pull, creating a turning effect!
supercharge from my energy cannon will put a stop to the Great Rascallion. Just watch and see. Don't waste your energy, boy! You are no match for Aurora and his weapon! You know it's true! Let's see how tough you are at ground level! Obviously tougher than you anticipated! Looks like you're in a bit of a tangle. Let me lend you a slice. Fashion tip number 12. Be prepared for stormy weather. Wind attack! I'll give you guys a hand just as soon as I get rid of this clown. Turn! Turn! Come on! Show me how you get your turn on! Not this time! Take this, you little mongrel! Copper, run! Did you see that? The energy bolt went right through him. He's a conductor, like electrical wire. Of course he's made out of copper. Take that, and that, and that. Copper, point your tail at Aurora. Yes, stand still and make things all the easier for me. In the end, you proved to be no match for Aurora and his superior skills of evil. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, enough about me. Do you have any last words? Do you have any last words? As a matter of fact, yes I do. Look behind you. What? What did you say? I said, look behind you. Perhaps we can negotiate. My weapon! <laughs> Look at him go! Now that he doesn't have a big weapon to hide behind. Hey, enough! Down, Copper, cut it out! Copper's <laughs> an affectionate little guy. You know, he really would make a good mascot. Cut rate amateur, if you ask me. <laughs> hey. You guys ready to come home? Just a second. Copper. So I managed to use copper scale for the armature, which enables it to generate the electric currents as it spins between the magnets. Hey, Lucas, I think I want to work on the project now. Courage, Toby, courage. I'm almost halfway done. Now we can all finish our project in time, right, Toby? <sighs> <laughs>